Hello everybody and welcome to this week's From the Laboratory to the Classroom, where I read the research so you don't have to. Now this week the article I've chosen is Orienting to See What's Important, Learn to Ignore the Irrelevant by Rabinowitz and Gerstel Friedman. To understand this paper, you have to understand uh, every problem, every, every realm has what's called surface structures and deep structures. So surface structure is kind of what we call the wrapping. Deep structure is the actual skill, the actual depth of what it is you're trying to get at. So as a simple example I always use, here's a question. You have a lawn, your lawn is 10 by 10. You wanna plant new seed on your lawn, how many bags of seed do you need to get to cover your entire lawn? On the surface, this looks like a question about lawns. It's talking about grass, it's talking about seeds, cool. But you know better than that. The lawn is just a wrapping. That's just a way to get into it. The deep structure is actually area. We're looking at a, at a math problem here. Now, why does this matter? This matters because in education, we've got the issue of transfer. Is kids often can perform skills or understanding in one realm, but as soon as they move to a different context or realm, all those skills and understanding go out the window and, they, and all of a sudden they can't do things. This paper starts to tap into that. So what this paper does is it presents people with what's called a triad. So you read a little blurb and then you have two options and you have to pick which option is more similar to that blurb. And the way they've done it is this. The blurb you have to read has a surface structure and a deep structure. So the blurb says there's a lawn, 10 by 10, what's the area of this lawn? Cool. Now your two options, you have to pick which of these options is closer to it. Option A is gonna be very similar in surface structure. So it says there's a lawn, the lawn is 10 by 10. What kind of nutrients do I need to add to this lawn if I wanna grow a new type of grass? So you can see the surface looks exactly the same, but the depth, it's asking a very different deep structure. The other option then has the same deep structure, but a very different surface. So in this case, it might be something like, you have a table, the table is 10 by 10, you wanna re-varnish it. How many bottles of varnish do you need to re-varnish that table? So here the surface looks different, but if you look deeply, you see it's the exact same question as this one here. So it's a triad. You have something you read, then two options. One of those options will be similar surface, one deep, and we wanna see which people choose as being more similar to that question up there. Now, as you might expect, and this is the big transfer issue, left to their own devices, almost everyone selects the surface option. When they read a question about grass, then see an option about grass, that's the one they pick. So we can assume most people are kind of just using surface structure all the time to base their learning, their understanding, their performance, which might not be a good thing, which might be killing transfer when we move to different contexts. Now, an interesting finding is the people who don't just automatically pick the surface structure, the people who automatically go to deep structure are deeply knowledgeable people within each field. The more knowledge you have of a field, the more expert you are in that field, you almost automatically go to the deep. You skip the surface, you understand that all surface is just wrapping and you go right to the deep. But I think more importantly, more interestingly, and that's what they do in this paper, is they say, okay, if that's our baseline, can we get people to recognize the deep structure and stop being tricked by the surface structure? And so what they did was this. They used their same triad technique. One group just did pure selections. Here you go like they always do. The other group had two blocks. The first block, they had their primary question and their two choices. But their two choices were, one, one was only similar in the deep structure, so we could say it's the grass and the varnish. The other one was totally irrelevant, something you would never pick, so something about unicorns. So they spent a, a chunk of time priming themselves to look for deep connections. After they spent some time priming themselves, they then went back to the normal triads, surface and deep, to see what they chose. And it turns out after going through 10, 15 rounds of only looking for deep connections, these people, these students, started looking for deep connections over here. So it looks like this looking for deep structure, ignoring the surface, getting past the surface and finding what the deep structure of a question is and how it relates and might transfer across, it can be trained. We just gotta be explicit with it. After kids saw it enough times, they're able to go back and start doing it. Too often we think when kids fail to transfer skills, knowledge, or abilities, we think they lack those skills or abilities. This type of research shows that no, they have them, they just don't recognize when to use them. They're just not certain when to apply them. So the more we can be explicit and specific with, with transfer, help kids see this is just a process, let's work it, let's work it, let's work it. We really can get them to start to ignore surface structures and start to see deep structures and show better transfer at a much earlier stage than a lot of us might think.